The Indian Air Force, IAF, is set to retire its legendary MiG-21 fighter jets by September 2025, closing a chapter on one of the most iconic aircraft in India's military aviation history. As this era ends, speculation and proposals have surfaced regarding the future of these jets. One particularly intriguing idea is converting retired MiG-21S into unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, or drones, a move that, if realized, could have profound implications for India's defense capabilities and broader air warfare strategy. First inducted in 1963, the MiG-21 was India's first supersonic fighter, seeing action in all major conflicts since then, including the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War, the 1999 Cargill War, and the 2019 Balakot airstrike. Over 850 MiG-21S have served with the IAF, and while celebrated for their agility and reliability early on, these jets have faced growing criticism due to outdated avionics and a worrying rate of accidents, with more than 200 pilots lost to crashes. The retirement comes amid safety concerns and the IAF's transition toward modern platforms like the indigenous HAL Tejas, Mark 1A. The central idea is to adapt the robust airframe and high-speed attributes of the MiG-21 to create unmanned platforms. There are two principal concepts, high-speed target drones, repurposing MiG-21S as unmanned aerial targets for training and testing India's air defense systems, where their performance can simulate real-world combat scenarios. Combat drones under teaming programs, adapting MiG-21S for combat, possibly as part of loyal wingmen strategies like those seen in advanced air forces, where unmanned jets accompany manned aircraft, undertake high-risk missions, and potentially draw out enemy air defenses. Why the idea is a game-changer. 1. Maximizing existing assets. Instead of scrapping the MiG-21S, conversion leverages the investment in these airframes, making use of parts and systems still relevant for lower-risk tasks. UAVs derived from existing fighters could be much cheaper than purchasing or developing entirely new platforms, especially considering current high prices for modern jets. 2. Enhancing training and air defense testing. MiG-21-based drones can mimic agile, high-speed threats, making missile and radar training more relevant than using purpose-built slow drones. 3. Revolutionizing combat doctrine. Combat-modified UAVs can perform missions considered too dangerous for manned aircraft, penetrating dense air defenses, serving as expendable decoys, or saturating the enemy with multiple offensive vectors. Unmanned jets can be used in swarm tactics, overwhelming defenses, or collaborating with manned jets under manned-unmanned teaming doctrine. This reduces risk to pilots and amplifies force projection. UAVs offer loiter time, operational flexibility, and risk reduction, allowing for persistent reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or kinetic operations deep inside contested airspace. A four, pilot and personnel safety. No pilot is put at risk on high-risk missions. A major advantage as aerial warfare grows deadlier with modern air defense and electronic warfare threats. Five, strategic psychological edge. The deployment of converted fighter UAVs could draw out an adversary's high-value air defense systems, revealing their capabilities for subsequent targeting, a tactic already being explored globally. The psychological impact of facing a potential swarm of high-speed aircraft, many of them unmanned, could force adversaries to rethink engagement protocols, defense allocation, and crisis stability. 6. Pathway to indigenous teaming systems. The conversion could accelerate domestic expertise in integrating legacy platforms into India's combat air teaming system, CATS, and similar projects, marrying old hardware with AI-enabled autonomy and modern command control systems, Challenges and limitations. Despite its transformative potential, converting MiG-21S to UAVs is not without significant hurdles. Safety risks. Unmanned high-speed jets could pose hazards if ground control is lost, especially near populated areas or operational bases. Maintenance and lifetime. Keeping MiG-21S operational as drones would necessitate continuing investment in maintenance, potentially extending the lifespan of airframes already at their fatigue limits. Technological integration. Integrating modern control, autonomy, and sensor systems into airframes designed in the 1950S-60S is a complex and costly engineering challenge. In summary, if the conversion of the IAF's retired MiG-21S into UAVs occurs, could reshape the landscape of Indian military aviation, enhancing fleet training, 
air defense, and combat capabilities, while ushering in a new era of manned unmanned team operations. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.